Hello and welcome to one of the lightest boxes I've had in some time. This is a Centipede Press unboxing. Very, very lightweight. It's a big box for one little book. Uh, the book, if you couldn't tell, excuse me, the book, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, is A Case of Conscience by James Ble Bleach. Bleach? Blish? I think Bleach is the name, but... I don't know that I've actually heard it said aloud. <laughs> uh, I'm not as familiar with James's work. I know he had passed away back in the mid-70s, like 75, I think I read. And get the bubble wrap out of here. Big box, tiny book. Um, I know he did novelizations of Star Trek episodes, which he made a good living on, apparently, in the latter years of his life. This is real tiny. So, well protected in bubble wrap like Jared's packaging usually is. Here we have A Case of Conscience by James Bleach. A full wrap around artwork. This is the first in a quartet of novels. And I have number 68 to match my other centipede titles of late which is awesome thank you jared very nice i i'm a huge fan of there not being any text on the cover itself it's always kind of delegated to the spine case of conscience it kind of leaves the cover unadorned and you can actually just soak in the artwork now i will admit that i wasn't very familiar with Whoa! Familiar with this title. Look at that. That is some nice stamping on the front there. Just all around beautiful quality, as one would ex expect. Nice cloth binding, top edge stain. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, I, I, I will admit I wasn't really, I didn't really know too much about this title or James Blish. Bleach? I can't even say his name consistently in the video um, prior to this title. But I read it and it sounded interesting. It's about a uh, priest who's also a scientist as he goes to a land full of reptilian creatures who are governed solely by logic. And so it makes him question nice end papers as well. I'm not sure if you can get that quality in the, the video. That's nice quality texture to it. Um, so, it, anyways, he goes to these reptilian creatures and they are very, very logical and makes him question his own faith and his own humanity. Uh, I know it's got, introdu it's introdu oh my god, I can't speak today. It's introduced by Greg Bear, cover art by Pascal Casolari, who did not sign the edition. So, Maybe that was in part due to the pandemic. I'm not sure. I do see that he uh, he painted this in 2018 by his little jacket there. 2018. But, you know, by the time the signature sheets got around, maybe he uh, couldn't get it to sign. A title page by Daryl K. Sweet. Uh, Daryl K. Sweet. Black and white interior art by Alan Kozowski. So we got some Kozowski artwork throughout. A oh, little kind of background, a little supplements that usually come in the back of centipede titles, but in this time it's coming in the front. You can hear the pages kind of crisp with the top edge stain. Love that sound. Little kind of doodles by Alan Kozowski. This is actually, I think, my second Kozowski signature. I mean, it might be more than two? But it's the second that I'm aware of. I mean, I could have forgotten them about oh, the previous signature. There we go. Number 68. It's book one in the After Such Knowledge Quartet. Uh, it's limited to 300 copies, of which this is 68. It's got a facsimile signature of James Bleach, Greg Bear's Little Scribble, and Alan Kozowski. Uh, and I know it gives me re first refusal rights for the remaining titles. And it almost sounded like the third and fourth titles are kind of novella length. 
if I read that correctly, which is very interesting. Uh, but I know, I know it's going to be nothing like Hyperion by Dan Simmons, but for some reason, the, uh, idea of a priest going to an alien kind of civilization really reminds me of one of the tales from Hyperion, which I am all for. I love Hyperion. I know Dan Simmons is kind of a controversial figure, but that book continues to get my forgiveness. Love Dan Simmons for Hyperion. Always will. But yeah, so that's a nice little kind of compact volume there by James Bleach. Uh, beautiful artwork by Pascal, and nice little doodles throughout by Alan Kazowski. I have a little magazine signed by Kazowski, which is what I was trying to say earlier. I, I believe that's the only title I have by him, but I'll give this a read. Probably not this copy, because I'm OCD like that. I'll have a cheap reading copy that I'll find. And uh, I'll give it a read, and hopefully I enjoy it. I'd like to get the quartets. It'd be nice. It's always nice to have a nice little set of centipede titles. I really like the small, kind of compact size of this one. It'll look great on a bookshelf. Uh, copies of the signed version are sold out. They sold out the same day. It was just a few hours. But there are still some unsigned copies available, which are very modestly priced, uh, especially for a centipede title. Although, I know a lot of centipede fans are still waiting around for Dune in a few weeks. I am as well. I have my kidney ready to sell for that. Oh, excuse me. But anyways, it's a, it should be a very interesting title. And I uh, hope you guys check it out. We'll see you next time.